Hello there, we're on to run number three of this street today, and uh, we're going to be playing Zoltan A. Which we rolled last time, we played Zoltan C last time, and it was kind of a struggle, but we did manage to pull out a win. Zoltan A is a much, much stronger ship. Uh, you've got a Zoltan Shield and you have a Halberd Beam to start with. Those are two very, very powerful things to begin with. Um, only real thing that this ship's, it, the ship's layout isn't great. You've got a whole sort of area down here that's kind of hard to vent, although you do have a Zoltan Shield to block most borders, and you do actually start with door control. That's about the only thing this ship really has trouble with. It doesn't have any major weaknesses to my mind. Um, it's a little bit awkward sometimes to upgrade your weapons enough to, you know, get something to use with the Halberd Beam to get through two shields. My preferred solution is to just get hacking and use shield hacks. So, we're probably going to save 80 scrap at the start of this run. We'll see. Um, let's get moving. This path does not appear very good, so we'll take this bottom path and hit these nebula jumps as well. Okay, we got a double scrap possibility. This ship is not very dangerous at all. By the time they got through the Zolt Shield, we will A, have knocked the weapons off, and B, they'd be desynced anyway. They've kept one weapon up, but it doesn't matter. Our second halberd beam shot will kill them. So, Zoltan Shield goes down. This is kind of how normal fights go early with this ship. They just about get through the Zoltan Shield, but you cripple their weapons and then kill them with the second shot. That's not a great weapon, but, I mean, we just got effectively a triple reward on the first jump, so I'm happy with that. Um... Now I'm trying to decide whether or not we should actually do the upgrade shields that you would normally do, or whether we should hold off to try to get hacking. You know what, screw it, let's get shields up. Especially with that weapon drop, if we have to use, like, okay, we can't risk this one, you can lose crew in that, you really don't want to lose crew when you're playing as old ship. I mean, if we desperately have to, we can use, like, Leto and Halberd Beam, or Heavy Ion and Halberd Beam, neither of those are ideal, but they'll work against two shield ships. So I'd like to just make myself a little bit safer. There's a good argument as well on this ship for getting a weapon buffer early, just because there are certain bad ships, namely enemies that have like attack drones that could get through your Zoltan shield fast enough, and if you take one hit on weapons, you're in some danger. So there is a pretty good argument for Spending 35 scrap buffering your weapons as the first upgrade. I think I'm gonna go shields instead. Keep circling around. Attack the slaver. This ship can't hurt us. Because if we... I mean, we're, we're probably not... Oh, actually, it's got hacking, so we do need to be somewhat wary. I was gonna say, we could chuck two Zoltans and shields, and then this charge ion can't get through our shields at all. But it would depend on what they hacked. So, let's try to make that a move point by removing it. Ha. They got the hacking drone off, but it didn't land. I hope they don't have an NG to go and fix that. They probably wouldn't prioritize it anyway. Because I really would not want it to come in and then land on my shields or my weapons. It's not going to. Shields up. a few more of these and then go down into the nebula. No, we're rejecting this offer. If they ever get through the Zoltan shield, I'll just put two shield bubbles up and then this ship can't hurt me, but... I'm not going to bother grinding dodges because I don't really want a Zoltan pilot anyway in the long term. I want to have somebody else in there. 
Also, we only have level 1 engines doing it. Grinding dodge with level 1 engines is very, very slow. Oh, we just got another weapon drop. There's a store up there. We're not going there. Let's... That'll do that so that we can do this. That might well mean we just don't get a store in this sector. Um, let's go here and then down into the middle. This ship can't hurt me. I don't need to take the weapons down, so let's concentrate on doing as much hull damage as possible. You just go there. I don't need to dodge. Well, this is going quite well so far. We've had two weapon drops, and that's our second double scrap reward as well. And we still have this nebula and a bunch of jumps after that to do. Yeah. But borders that have gone through our Zoltan shield, they might break sensors, but probably not. We'll then get door control as well to delay them. Is that going to vent out in time? No. Don't know whether these guys will even break through, but it doesn't matter. If they do, we'll just go and fight them in the medbed. So easily dealt with, but we did take a point of damage there, our first in the run. We could upgrade piloting for the manually search event, but I think we'll just leave it. And I, I wouldn't risk manually search if it does come up, because you really cannot afford to lose as Olson. You know, this ship only has five power bar by, bars by default, I've bought one extra. So you really do not want to lose one of the crew that is providing you with power. Attack the ship. Run level 2 shields, we're completely safe. Go send you there. The beam run will cut through our Zoltan shields fairly quickly, but this weapon, this ship doesn't have very dangerous weapons. We actually already have, between the Heavy Ion and the Breach Missiles, which are both quite bad, we already have enough scrap here that if a store appeared with hacking, we could get it by selling things. So that's pretty good. I would ideally want to obviously get it without having to sell anything. And another double scrap reward. So we've had more drops in this run already in Sector 1 than we did with Zoltan C. The entire We had two drops in the entirety of that run. And it's not like any of these have been because of crew kills. I'll take that even though I'm kind of hesitant because I would like to have drones for if when I get hacking. But hey, we don't have hacking yet, so... And nine fuel this early is pretty useful. We've got two more jumps here, not three, unfortunately. Our hover beam is going to completely crush this shieldless auto scout. Their weapons can't get through his old shield fast enough to stop me. One shot of the beam, and they will just die instantly. Twelve more. Stress. 
Well, yeah, we just did a big trade for fuel, so cool. We have 86 scrap, so we've got a hacking buffer without even needing to sell anything. I'll buy back three. That keeps me at 80 scrap. Neither of these are great choices. A pirate gives me better options for Sector 3. I don't want to go through an Uncharted Nebula, so let's go here instead. The only downside is pirate sectors do tend to have a fairly large number of hostile beacons, and those are a little bit, like asteroid fields in particular, are a little bit tricky. I actually just get a little bit more evade. I don't normally like upgrading my engines early, but it's only 10 scrap, and also it means that when I'm not running my second shield bubble walls as all shields up, I can do this. Oh yeah, do that. It's kind of tempting to do the piloting upgrade here. We've got four nebulas to hit. I'm going to do it, because we can always sell the breach missile to get hacking if we see a store before we can make any more scrap. And manually search can be a pretty good event. Well, this is a very bad beacon. We're going to lose... Um, we're going to lose sensors again. Not much I could do about that. They boarded right into it. So those are the only two points then. We might take some more from the solar flare here, but we'll be fine. They can't damage anything down there or they're going to be getting vented. Uh, actually, keep venting that room so you can run to Med Bay, which you want to do anyway, really. This guy's continuing to try to smash doors, but we should win the fight in here before that happens. I don't know where that set a fire. It's not in any of my systems. Vent all the empty rooms. Yeah, this guy will now run in here, which is a very dumb thing to do. I think the fire just went out. So you get in piloting. We'll see if we can fix everything before we have to escape. Doesn't look like it. Is it worth taking another solar flare to keep... I'm just gonna fix the damn sensors. We'll take another solar flare. Yeah, we took one damage. It's fine. Vent that out. Back to your positions. Attempt to follow them. So this is quite a dangerous fight. They have very strong weapons. But our Zoltan Shield will block the first volley completely, and our Halberd Beam will go off about a split second before they're ready to fire again. Hopefully they don't have the Shield Buffer upgrade. They do, but thankfully they stupidly took the flak down anyway, even though they could have kept it up because they had two power and weapons. That's a pretty good offer. Well, we take that. That is our fourth drop already this run. Whoa, 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 no, I don't want to waste money on getting my shields up. Upgrade weapons for the buffer now. Because I have loads of stuff to sell. Let's do it. Attack the pirates. This ship can't hurt me.
we could grind dodges, but I won't. Should we? Yeah, screw it. Let's grind dodge. This is a very safe place to grind dodges. We could even grind weapon skill by doing this. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I will meet you back. We have got our dodges all the way up. We only have level 1 engine weapons, rather, but I'm not getting that all the way up. That will take way too long. I considered, I've been trying a while training the heavy iron actually on oxygen and seeing whether or not I can get a crew kill. It doesn't do it long enough. I could theoretically do this over and over again and just knock it offline, but I'm worried about them running away. I don't know what crew they have over there, and this is a kind of ship that can flee. So I think I'm going to just, just take an ordinary kill. I mean, having said that, I might hold here. If it takes them a really, really long time to fix that. I also toyed with the idea of just chucking a brief. Okay, they've got NGs over there. That's too fast repairing, and they are indeed trying to escape. So, that's... Nice! We get a rock. We'll use this new rock as our new pilot. So, we just trained somebody up as a pilot, and now we're immediately replacing them. But hey, this gives us power that we can spend elsewhere. And we did get a full, en full trained engines person and level 1 weapons out of that, so it's not like it was wasted. Continue on in the nebula. Haven't we already had one of these in this nebula? Uh, or was it... Oh, no, no. It was actually up in the space above the nebula. I'm just getting confused. Yeah, fight these guys in the med bay. You'll get, like, one point of damage on my doors before we win a fight in here and they run in to join... Make sure they don't break the doors, I guess. <coughs> oh yeah, I didn't save crew positions after I got the rock. Do that now. Okay, this is somewhat dangerous ship because that will cut through our zone shield relatively quickly. But we'll still get a beam off. So this fight would be quite dangerous to do with only one shield. There's a possibility they cut through your old shield fast enough, and then the heavy laser, say, comes in and hits your weapons. But with two shields and his old shield, it's quite safe. And the advantage of the halberd beam is you can't miss, so there's no risk that the AI just dodges a bunch of your stuff and you don't take their weapons down. As long as you get to fire it, you will stay, take stuff down. Okay, let's... There's the store. We're gonna jump here to try to get more scrap, and then we will go to the store. Hopefully they will have hacking there, and we'll just buy that. Okay, well, we put ourselves in an asteroid field, which is not ideal. Let's do this. We might be glad that we got the weapons buffer here. Okay, we did manage to dodge. There was one asteroid coming in at us when our shields were down, but we dodged that, and that's the only dodge we needed. <coughs> the Oliver Beam takes them out with the second shot, and we have exactly 80 scrap. Cool. We'll get more than that when we sell all of this junk that we've got accumulating, but, like, we might not sell some of the weapons that have dropped. Cool, we get hacking. Okay, we will be selling some of the weapons because, hey, there's flak.
Right, so let's sell the breach missile, sell the anti-drone. I'm always very wary when doing this, make sure to sell the Zoltan Shield Bypass and not the Zoltan Shield. And we're gonna buy hacking, and we're gonna buy flacking. Cool. I guess we'll keep the, keep the heavy eye on just in case. It gives us a blue option in an event, which is useful. Like, we have the rest of this sector to get our weapons and up, up, up enough to use the flak. And frankly, we could just use hacking and shield hack against sec uh, two shield enemies. I'm gonna actually hack their weapons here. I don't want that missile to slip in after the asteroids take all and the laser take all my shields. I was kind of hoping that asteroid would take a shield bubble down, but I don't think it's worth waiting. Cool, we dodged. We probably should have switched to the flak here, actually. That was a mistake. We're going to take a missile, probably, then. Yeah. Whatever. Since their shields were down, we should have just switched to using the, the flak. We took an asteroid as well. Get the second bubble up. I don't want to run people around right now because I don't want to accidentally have stupid nonsense happen that takes a shield bubble down and we take damage from asteroids, so let's be careful. We have good distress options, let's go to this one. Search for the ship. Damn, we took five damage. We could have got a free weapon from that. Really need to hack here. Let's just keep our engines up. We're not in very much danger in this fight anyway. They do have his old shield, so it'll take us a couple of shots to actually deal some damage. But we have one too, and our Holder Beam cuts through their old shield faster than their weapons cut through ours. We can't quite be completely safe, because if we had one more Zoltan, we could stuff them all in shields, and then this could never pop our shield bubble. But we've knocked it offline now. No mind control. So we needed a few more beams than we're typically needing because that ship had a Zolt shield, but whatever, we still won. Let's get another power bar. I'll need it before I upgrade my weapons enough to use the flak anyway, so... Keep the Lido powered up just in case. But we didn't need it. I guess I probably should have bought a bit of repair at that, um... Although, actually, five damage that we've taken was from that event that happened afterwards, if I remember correctly. Move into examine the station. Okay, there's nothing there. We have a little bit of danger here, just because we don't quite have level... We don't quite have enough weapons uh, power to easily get through two shield bubbles. But we literally need one more lot of scrap to bring the flak online. And we can hack shields, even though we can't completely bring them down. If you bring one shield bubble down, it's just like having more Sector 1 fights. Also, any enemy that has level 2 shields but not the buffer upgrade, we can just take a bubble down by hitting them with a Lido Missile. So, these guys are kind of dangerous, but we're going to hack their shields. 
Okay, then these guys have the buffer up, right? Which is annoying. Cool, we sucker punch the laser uh, missile down. And we do that. We'll spend a bunch of missiles here just to make sure they can't hurt us. They have a repair drone in there. Oh yeah, they got their shield up. How did they do that? I'm a bit baffled by how they got that back, but whatever, they can't currently hurt us. They didn't appear to have anyone in that room, but maybe they did, I just wasn't paying attention. Whatever. They're dead, and now we do this. And we'd like to win a few more fights, get a bit more power so we can more safely run everything, get hacking up to the next level, then we can start saving for clocking. weapons are a bit spooky, I'm gonna hack them. This is probably not strictly necessary. for the halber beam to fire the flak there because my halber beam will kill as soon as it goes off anyway. As long as I actually aim it properly and hit four rooms instead of being done. So. There we go. Yep, we'll hit these beacons then curl up towards the nebula. Actually, might hit these can hit these things as well. That's a little bit better. Lead them to their destination. We're not going to that quest. We'll just take the 11 free scrap. We don't need to hack here. Our Zolpon shield will protect us from the missile. And as soon as we get all the beam off, this ship is dead. We might even be able to charge our FTL fast enough to get out without a single solar flare going off, which would be pretty cool. Yep. Should I give them 15 missiles? Let's offer to solve it. Launching a military-grade we weapon into our minds isn't exactly what I would call union-friendly. Um, you can get a hull repair from this, which wouldn't be normally ideal, but I mean, we can, we wouldn't mind getting that. And we might get, like, some scrap or an augment or something like that. Let's just give them 15 missiles. Okay, that sells for 35 scrap. So that's probably worth it. Thank you, comrades. give up even more missiles. Keeps five in case we need to trade them. Like, we could upgrade onto the Lido missile, but probably not. You know, we have Flak Halber, we could just win the game with this. We're not having much luck with these jumps, unfortunately. I don't need another store right now, I need to get more scrap. That's better. I think we hit these two nebulas and maybe one more jump. Okay, cool, we get our blue option, and it pays off. We got our scrap back, pretty much, that we spent, plus a nice drop to sell. This ship can't hurt us. I don't know what you people are doing in Sector 3. Like, you've got the second shield bubble, I guess, so you are a Sector 3 ship, but... Don't even need to bother hitting this side of the ship, their weapons are worthless. 
We get level one piloting from this. We just need to dodge one shot. I'm not going to do full training because we've already done that, but getting level one is worth it. Thank you. Up my hacking. I'm gonna see what's gonna get into the next sector before I can I can afford to get my hacking up right now. But I'm gonna wait until we get into the next sector, because there might be an early store. Yep, so, so we got rid of all of our missiles in that sector. Okay, Zoltan 4 is a very, very dangerous sector. I don't want it. Let's go to Mantis 4. There's fewer stores, but less likelihood of us just dying. Let's do that. Let's also buy a power bar. It does take us a little bit away from cloaking, but not very much. I mean, we have 35 scrap worth of stuff here and another 25 there. So if necessary, I think we could sell those plus the heavy ion and get cloaking if we had to. Plus even the Lido missile, considering we've now got rid of all of our missiles. I guess that reactor upgrade wasn't necessary. this distress beacon. Cool, we have a blue option from our rock. Very, very nice. Now we definitely have enough stuff to... I'd quite like a store to get rid of these because we've got multiple... Ooh. Let's rearrange the order. We have multiple bad augments that we just want to get rid of because at the moment if anything else drops we can't use, we can't uh, actually take any additional augments. Side with the fugitive, cool, we get a mantis. The ship's quite nasty. Do we need to hack this? We'll see how our first volley goes. We've got a pretty decent chance, and as long as we can take the burst two down, we're very safe. They do have multiple defensive drones, but they weren't good enough. Yeah, we're fine. Like, they theoretically could have shot down, like, both of our, two of our three flak shots and then dodged the other one or something like that. Goodbye. Cool, we found a storm. Okay, no cloak. So, recon teleport. Sell the battery charger, sell the fire drone, get some repairs. We'll hold scrap for the moment. We'll even hold on to the Lido missile, because we might get a bunch of missiles as the run goes on. This ship is not dangerous at all. We could, in fact, be completely safe from this by sticking to, to Zoltans and shields. I wonder if we should do that and try to get a crew kill. These weapons are kind of awkward for trying to do that. I think we could. But I'm not going to. I'm going to just win the fight. Our result took a lot of damage before our man got down there to bail him out. Get over there. No, I never saved the mantis's position in the door. We'll do this. That way, in fights where I don't want to use hacking, I have somewhere to put my power. There's potentially two stores in a Mantis sector, so there aren't always. We want to do that. I'm going to keep my missiles just in case I ever want to use the Lido. We are going to hack shields here. This ship is quite dangerous. Good weapons. 
three shield levels, we can put the flak and the halberd beam into weapons. Our Zoltan shield will fully absorb their first barrage, and that's all we need it to do. Goodbye to all of your weapons. This top corner. I think there's more beacons up here. Odds are we won't find another store in this sector, but you know, maybe we get lucky. What have you got in the way of crew over there? I'd like to not hack in this fight there. They don't have three shields, so it's not as necessary. Maybe we can take that down and keep our Zoltan. Yep, we got that down so they'll never be able to board us. Very easy win. How many jumps do we have? Is it two? Yep, we have two. Well, there's a possibility there's a store there. There's no, it, There could be one there, but we can't get there. So we can either go there and there and out, or we can go this way. I think I'll go this way to have a marginal chance of seeing a storm. This ship has level 3 shields, but isn't nearly as dangerous as the last one that we saw like that, so I'm not going to hack. As long as we hit 2 out of 3 flak shots, we can take one of the weapons down and be completely safe. And we did. Our second volley, we don't even need to hit as many as that. Stupid NG fixing their weapons. I think I mistimed the halberd beam there. Whatever, they're gonna die now. We also just got max weapon skill, cool. Go give my Mantis combat XP. Thank you. What do you know? We found a store. So, good pathing there. And that has resulted in us getting cloaking, and we're also going to buy that pipe beam. Pipe beam. Get some fuel. At this point, we can sell the heavy ion. The only reason... Can we keep it just for blue options until we can get an NG? Let's do that, actually. This is a bit speculative, but whatever. We're, we're way ahead in this run. You don't have a backup battery as well, do you? No, but whatever. Because there's a, there's a common distress event where you get blue options from either having an NG or from having... Um, or from having any kind of ion weapon. And since we don't have an NG, we'll keep the heavy ion just for that event right now. the exit. Search among the stores, okay. I'm happier with that outcome than I am with... Mm, neither of these are great. Mantis Homeworlds is better than NG Homeworlds at this stage. We don't really need stores. NG Homeworlds is a very low scrap sector on average, especially if you go there without an NG. We can't really do, Ke do Kazak without spending basically all our scrap on upgrades, which I don't think is worth it. But, you know, we can just treat this as an ordinary Mantis sector. Whoa! I think our engines might get broken here.
Aha, they didn't manage to. Close these doors in their face. That one too. They'll eventually bust through, but I don't think they're gonna break any of our systems, so I don't care. Should have moved my rock over there earlier, but whatever. Turn my O2 on. Feed the kills to the rock and the mantis. You guys get down there. We really would like an NG just to round out our crew, because we have basically everything we need except somebody that's good at repairing. And we'd like to get mind control as our last system to deal with borders. It would have been nice to have that in that situation. Download the data stores. We're gonna shield hack here and just use our two beams. I think the two beams are actually, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the two beams are actually an instant one shot. So hack there. Cloak this. Keep our Zoltan shield completely intact. You will never get to fire that burst three. Be glad to have the flak for occasions where we may not have that as an option. Or where we don't want to use a hacking drone. But we can go... We may even swap the flak out for another beam if we get one later on and just do full shield hacks and one-shot everything. But this event again... We didn't get the good option again this time, unfortunately. But it was worth it. This ship actually can't hurt us. Because we can stop this Ion 2 from ever taking out our shields completely. Let's run the engine to person in there for that, actually. You go and fix this. Oh crap, they have hacking. I forgot about that. Okay, they hack something that doesn't matter. Can I sneak a hacking drone through all of this crud? No. I thought I had it, but they... Let's try one more time. No, not happening. That's a pity. Take that stuff down. I was hoping to suffocate them with hack the oxygen and that stuff, but that much defensive drone is very difficult to get get stuff through. So we lose two drones. We don't quite have a hundred percent cloak. Uh, evade with cloak, but we'll do that. Our rock will eventually get all of the all of the dodges that he needs. We don't need to upgrade anything else right now. We have enough to buy the only thing we might want, which is my, well, the only thing we might want are mind control and backup battery. We can get both of those right now. Let's try to do this one without hacking, especially since we just wasted two drones. I killed him with the flag here. Yep. Go to this dress and then look at this top side and see if we can spot a store. Cool, we get another augment. Ooh, distraction buoys. We could theoretically keep those. Let's go here, that sees a lot. Kinda risky to not hack here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. What's their crew situation like?
Oh, no stores still. We can't quite get weapons to seven and buy the power and still have enough for what we would want in a store, so I'm gonna hold off for. Well, I suppose we could sell things. Eh, we'll hold off for a couple of more jobs. We don't need the pike beam in play right now. Our missiles have also kind of, um,. Built themselves back up. I'm gonna hack here because I don't feel like dealing with, you know, missile and bomb nonsense. Just do that and win the fight immediately. We should be out of here before that goes off at all. We have 12 of every resource. This is pleasingly symmetrical. I want to do all beams again in this fight. These have, guys have dangerous guns. I don't need to run two shields while my zone shield is up, so I might as well have more evade. Wow, firebomb in a solar flare is kind of gross. Can we please get our hover beam to hit these four rooms? Thank you. Oh, that's a useful drop. We're not gonna we're not gonna actually use that weapon, but it sells for quite a lot. We have not seen a single store in this sector. These guys only have two shields, and we'll try to do this with flak and hover beam. Flak this. Zoltan shield blocks that. Get in there, we don't need dodge right now. You can waste your time battering against the doors. Your ship goes goodbye. What's that? You want to give me combat XP? Thank you, that's a very thoughtful gift. been a pretty decent sector. Okay. Oh, let's take one more jump. There could be a store there. We're strong enough now that we could dive, but like, we actually- okay, there is indeed a store there. We're strong enough that we could dive here, but we can't really dive in this sector. We're already like at the very end of it. Oh, wow. Well, there's no mind control, but there's another hobble beam, and we're going to immediately grab that. Sell this. Uh, we don't need the leader now, because we're going to go... We're going to do all beam nonsense. Um, should we just get rid of this heavy ion at this point? Let's get rid of the heavy ion. Do we want to keep distraction buoys? This basically buys us two free jumps. Because it, it doesn't do anything in Sector 8, but it will work in Sector 6 and 7. I might as well hold on to it for now. I, ha I still have another Augment slot for a... Um, I'm going to keep the flak, because I might occasionally still want to do fights where I don't use hacking. Let's just sell it. Like, it gives blue options, but whatever. Let's do this. So we can either do this in fights. We're also going to get hacking up right now. 
Because occasionally you see ships in Sector 6 with four shields. They're rare, but we keep a buffer so we can get, um... So we can get both mind control and backup battery if they appear in the store. We're gonna shield hack these people down for sure. We don't need level 3 though. Nice dodge. Beam away. Uh, do we want pirate or Zoltan? If we go Zoltan, this is our last chance to find a rebel stronghold, which is the best scrap sector in the game. I'm going to go pirate instead. Pirate is generally less dangerous as well. So there's the distraction buoys giving us one extra jump in this sector. We're going to jump around in the middle and then curl down towards this nebula. Do we want to get shields up? I think I'll hold off. What we might do is this. I'm, I'm mostly concerned about the possibility of us hitting um, ships with double offensive drones in an asteroid field. But if that happens, we can cloak, we hack shields, and we hover beam them to death. And our defenses should last long enough for us to do that. We do not need to hack in this fight. This ship is very weak. The only way this ship could be dangerous is if they have like a an intruder drone that they're going to send over when they get through our Zolt shield. But that doesn't become possible if they never get through our Zolt shield. Yeah, these guys have level 2 weapons. Sector 6. We couldn't quite get out before the solar flare because we had to actually wait for the animation to finish playing to give us our scrap. But we didn't take any damage, so it doesn't matter. Come on, go out. Thank you. I guess I'll just keep my sensors on. That's a lot of orders. Zoltans just go up to the med bay now. We might lose sensors. I might run my mantis up there to make sure that doesn't... Nope, they don't need to run up there to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, uh, now they've got two people in there. But the oxygen is already draining, so yeah, we'll be fine. You get in the med bay. Yeah, you can bounce around down there all you want. There's no way you're going to get through things fast enough. You're going to get through the multiple levels on those systems fast enough to avoid just being vented. And the borders are all dealt with, with no damage. Get back to your stations, Zoltans go fix things. Should we go to distress? We have reasonable distress options. I'll be very sad if this is a manually target sort of event. It's not. Okay, it's just a fight. People have three shields and reasonably decent weapons. They're gonna hack and beam you to death.
in it. My timing is a bit weird here because I fiddle, I uh, was indecisive about what weapons to use at first, so my beams weren't charging at the same speed, even though they're the same weapon. They've survived because of rock resist, but it doesn't matter. They are going to die as soon as our beams go off again. Like they can't. There's no way they can fix those. Get you in there just to make sure you don't get bombed in the face. Do that now. We still have enough to get mind control and we'll get at least one more lot of scrap before we hit another store, so we could get mind control and back up battery if they were there. Yeah, we know where the store is now, so we can hit jumps. Should we go here to hit these nebulas, then they are up? It seems like the plan. This ship's annoying. We're definitely hacking these people to death. We need to cut through the result shield first. The nice thing about using all beams is that beams don't cut into your cloak. So we can do this. Cloak this shot. Get rid of their result shield completely. And we're still cloaked and they can't even charge their weapons right now. Like, they'll get these shots off now and probably get through my Zoltan shield here unless we dodge this missile. Which we didn't. Yeah, they got a last second screw you shot off there, but we dodged it. Oh, our rock now has max piloting, so we can get 100% evade with cloaking. That's useful. There. Back up and through. Attack the ship. We're gonna shield hack this one. We may well sell flak at that store and just go completely over to shield hacking. It's late enough in the run that we can afford to do that at this point. Well, yeah, we can definitely afford to do that. Well, we're going to be selling distraction buoys at that store, because we want to have a weapon slot open. But yeah, we have pre-igniter and Zolt shield and all beams. We're just going to crush everything for the rest of this run. We literally just need to make sure we don't run our drones. Let's attack the pirate. The ship's kind of awkward to do all beam stuff against, actually, but we'll make it work. The pre is not actually as useful as it often is because we have to wait for the shields to drain anyway. But it does still save, it saves like five or six seconds every volley. Asteroid. This is the first ship we've seen that has four shield bubbles. I drew the beam wrong there, so we didn't actually kill them. Actually, we wouldn't have killed anyway. We missed. I, I was one room short. Even had we not killed, he completely crippled the ship, so we were in any danger. No systems here, unfortunately. Sell the distraction buoys. Should I get long range scanners? I think we should. We're going to a red sector next. I think it's worth doing this. Just swap one for the other. Yeah, 
let's do that. Bye, Flack. Uh, we're gonna dive here. We're gonna go exit, distress, hit these two jumps. We maybe should have bought some fuel there, actually. We should have definitely done some. Oh, well. Access to storage cache. Maybe some drones as well. We effectively have stealth weapons here. Because our be our weapons are all beams. They can't break our cloak. So we sort of have a fourth augment for free. Let's get some more power. Uh, no, we can lose crew at that. No, we're not giving our crew up to Slavers. One downside of losing the flak is, like, a ship this week... Oh yeah, I forgot I needed to wait for the shields to fully drain. Whatever. A ship this week, I would normally, if I still had the flak... No, I already have a, a Mantis, I don't need to. I'd rather get 53 scrap. If we still had the flak, we would have just used that and a Halberd Beam to kill that ship. So, we had to use a drone, which is a downside to using shield hacking. No, we're not accepting a bribe, we're just murdering these pirates. Is there a possible double scrap reward? Let's see if we can do this no pause style. That's extremely annoying. Okay, we got a double reward that included a full heal, so we're uh, completely fine for this dive. Should I get the level 3 cloak at this point? Not quite yet. That's our next upgrade, though. Kind of a waste of a drone here in a fight that we only get fuel for, but we're low on fuel, so it's not bad. And these weapons are sort of dangerous. This is one of the few ships in the game that's not... that doesn't just get insta-killed by their setup. Do a 10-second cloak now. Dodge the ASB, and as soon as our hacking is back, the ship is dead. We don't even need to wait for the ship, the shields to drain completely. We just drain one shield bubble and kill with the whole beam. Okay, civilian is better than rock. Come on, big nebula. Damn it. Well, at least there's stores in this, so we shouldn't have any risk of running out of drones. And we should be able to find mind control and a backup battery. No, we're not giving our crew up to slavers. We're going to murder you instead. Dangerous weapons they've got over there. These are the holy trinity of uh, A-tier weapons. but it can't really deal with a pre-ignited all-beam setup. Because nothing in FTL can do that. What's the most damage I can do with the pike beam on this? I think it's like this shot. We're gonna take that NG I mentioned earlier. That's sort of the last thing we need. Although, we shouldn't really take much damage from here on out. But whatever. Oh, cool. We got, the, we got the good result there, so we got some scrap for free. And let's go to this store. We could theoretically buy the fire beam for phase one to get crew kills, but honestly, if we're doing pre-ignited all-beam stuff, we can just kill the flagship. 
We might not even have our Zoltan Shield go down. Let's keep it 10. Get a few bits of power as well. A few bits of power, a few bits of fuel. We don't need as much of a buffer now because we've got the backup battery. In fact, let's do this. Uh, one downside to doing an all-beam setup, you can't use uh, hacking to counter events like that because you need to be able to shield hack or you can't actually kill enemies. But uh, we can just pre-cloak. Didn't get very much scrap for that, all considered. We're going to decline, we need the resources. Intervene to defend the outpost, double scrap possibility. We got oh, a weapon drop right before we go to a store to sell that. It doesn't sell for very much, but it was also a double reward, so. There's our mind control. Get that up. We don't really need to get that all the way up because we just need to damage buffer it. We're not going to be killing any crews through the flagship phases, so I'd rather get the max level of shields than get the mind control all the way up. No, nope, we're attacking you. Here, our pre-igniter is very helpful because we can't hack it at the moment anyway. So we'll just do that, cut through the old shield. Pre-cloak. We got a free repair, except we didn't need any. Let's damage buffer these systems. And we should get enough scrap in Sector 8, and from the remaining jumps in this sector, to get level 8 shields. Go looking for the Rebel ship. We could have had double fleet pursuit from that, but whatever. Yeah, those messages popping up. I would accept that normally. That only sells for 17 scrap, though, and we're not guaranteed to find a store to sell it at, so I'm actually going to reject. Also, we don't have any augment slots, thinking on it. Yeah, we got more scrap by rejecting. It's one of the rare occasions where a drop is not worth it. No, we're not taking that any more than we took it the previous times we've seen it. We're going to go to the exit, then we're going to jump away to the take the encounter here, then we're going to go to the asteroid field and then fight a dive fight. Yep, we will gladly sell 15 missiles for scrap. We can almost get the shields up, we couldn't power them. Let's just do this. That is really annoying. It throws your beam aiming off. So, we made 50 scrap by diving. We'll have to fight one dive ship. And lose one drone, I guess. I mean, even if we, if every single repair station got taken over, we could just jump right to the exit right now and utterly murder the flagship. We're not actually in any danger of losing. We 
don't want to cloak their ordinary weapons. We want to cloak. Okay, that layout we did manage to get a one shot. Just cloak right now. We might actually charge the ASP before this hits us anyway, but it did. Cool, we got an immediate repair station. In fact, we may get two immediate repair stations here. But we really only need one. I don't really want to go through a store, so we're gonna we're gonna avoid this other repair station. We have enough drones now to last us. Also, the route over to the base is a bit awkward. We need to jump through this jump, which may force us, and this one, which may force us into dives. But we're perfectly capable of killing dive ships, as we have demonstrated several times. That was a little tricky. Double scrap reward. Get more power. More fights. We manage that with a bit of chicanery. Probably max the reactor after this fight. And then we'd like to upgrade the backup battery. It's not essential. Now, the two drones is interesting, but I'm not taking 27 scrap for a Sector 8 ship. We get here ahead of the flagship, so we don't have the beacon taken over. No, we are once again going to reject because it's too late. We've already seen the Sector 8 store. So we'll never be able to sell that. Get that up. We can now power everything. If we get enough scrap after this, we'll upgrade the mind control, I guess. Go to the base and completely crush the flagship. Guess we can do this and use the backup battery. But frankly, we're barely going to use mind control. It's just there for defensive purposes, really. 
Like, these weapons one-shot every phase of the flagship. Apart from phase three, obviously, because they've got the super shield. They'll pre-cloak us. Completely crushed. Zoltan shield is mostly intact. I guess we'll upgrade our sensors after this, just for the fun of it. All the jumps around the base, unfortunately, got taken over. Oh shit, we're still cloaked from last time. That was very clumsy. Whatever, I think they're dead before they ever get to use there. I forgot that we hadn't actually come out of cloaking yet. Whatever. Yeah, they won't ever get to fire this. And their drone surge will never go off. Why are they not dead? I must have misaimed one of the beams and not had, because that should have been 22 damage. Should be 8 plus 8 is 16, and I must have missed the pilot room with the pike beam. Because we're one damage short. Whatever. As soon as our hover beams go off again, they're dead. And those should, they should go off at about the same time as the surge. Yeah, just a little bit faster. So, we didn't quite one shot there because I misplaced a beam, but whatever. We didn't take any damage. They still didn't get a drone surge. We made, you know, two micro errors there between the the drone, the missing beam, and the fact that we didn't go in with our cloaking back, and it didn't matter at all. Uh, we'll fight them away from the base here just in case we want to do runaway stuff, but I don't think we have any reason to want to do that. Fire a pre-ignited volley to get rid of most of their Zolt shield. Pike Beam, next we'll get rid of what's left of it, then we hack shields. Get over there. We're going to kill the flagship with our Zolt shield still intact. Make sure I hit six rooms, although I only need to hit four on this phase. That was an extremely easy run after the extreme struggle that we had with Zoltan C yesterday. It was nice to have a very, very strong run. That's a nice round score as well. 6,300. So yeah, we actually got one beacon explored fewer than we did yesterday. But we defeated more ships and we just got way, way... That's 600 scrap pretty much more than we got with Zoltan C in, this, in basically the same number of beacons. That's just how the game rolls sometimes. So, that was a very, very easy, comfortable run with a very strong ship. Let's see what we're going to be playing next. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, Mantis B, I don't really like this ship, but we can make it work. It's like a mid-tier boarding ship with a vulnerability in the early game. But, uh, 
we will deal with that next time. So I hope that you enjoyed this uh, quite quick and quite easy run. And uh, I will see you on the fourth run. Bye for now.